you bring the book out and you get your ghost right, uh, then it goes to the editor and they fuck about with it and they say what can go in it and what can't go in it and it's, well, it just gets fucked about with. Well, I've got the original copies, allegedly. <laughs> Possibly, maybe. Possibly. <laughs> from Harry. What, he, he sent them to you to proofread them first? Well, they were leaked. I know a man who knows a man. <laughs> his mate's mate. His, his mate's mate. Was it Mark from marketing got hold of it and said, this is what no, we can use? No, he's too busy. No. So you sh you've surely heard that he had a bit of a row with his brother William. Yes. I yeah. a few minutes. Didn't he have a proper row, like... He fell really, on a dog pole. Ah, uh, really kicked off. Will yeah. smacked his fucking head in, didn't he? Well, that's not exactly what happened. Oh, now we're getting down to the truth. Yeah, I mean, really the, the, before they edited it and messed around. So what you're gonna you're gonna tell us what really happened? The original not worth twenty million. No, because the editors went, we can't put that out. We'll mess about with it. We'll tone it down. Tame it a bit, yeah. Yeah, we'll tame it so the public can read it. We can't put that out there, Harry. It's right. too hard. So this is a Brom Hugs exclusive. Hmm. So. There was an incident between me and William. I had pulled a bit of a practical joke. I had taken Kate's juicy couture tracksuit buttons, <laughs> removed the Del Montes, and had rearranged them. So instead of saying juicy across the bum, it said, I heart anal. <laughs> and Kate had worn them out without knowing to the opening of a new orphanage. William was insane with rage. When he found out and burst into my room with a crazy look on his face, like Joffrey from Game of Thrones. He was wearing the cardboard crown he had made himself a few weeks before. He tossed me to the floor and tore the special friendship bracelet Uncle Andrew had made me clean from my wrist. <laughs> he stood over me, ripped his shirt open, exposing the tattoo of an eagle he, had, he has tattooed on his chest and the chain that links his nipple rings. <laughs> he then screamed, I am Ragnar, at the top of his voice. <laughs> then he forced me to eat the leftover pedigree chomp from one of the corgi's dog pods, saying I must eat it all up as it would give me a shiny coat. <laughs> I knew at this point I had to retaliate. After all, I had extensive military training, two tours of Afghan, 15 confirmed kills, and I was also first on the balcony during the embassy siege on April 19, 9, 1980. As I swung round to fight back, I realised it was hopeless. William came charging towards me wearing the Hulk hands. Our nan, <laughs> our nan had brought him a few years previous for Christmas. From an Amazon reviews. Word. <laughs> Swinging his arms in a windmill motion and swiftly moving towards me, he clonked me square on the head. The next thing I remember is coming round to Megan holding my head. She says, has... We need to get out of here. I looked at her and nodded in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what actually happened. That's what actually happened. I've got another one. What, another exclusive? Yeah. Well, you know how he lost his virginity? From old woman behind a pub. Yeah, well, that's not quite how it happened either. Aha! Uh -huh. Exclusive. So, um, so I was now 21 and had made the decision that it was about time I lost my virginity. My right arm had become so strong that I could have taken a bear down with a headlock, <laughs> and my bed sheets were so hard and crumpled that they resembled corrugated iron. <laughs> being ginger, and also being a bit of a twat, I never had much luck with the ladies, I didn't want to risk the embarrassment of being turned down. So I needed a sure thing. Out one night with my chums, I spotted Big Brenda across the bar. She had dark, greasy hair with grey roots. Her clothes were straight out of Sports Direct and she smelt like raw onion. This was the girl for me. <laughs> I strolled over to her and brought her another snake bite and hit her with a classic line, what a smashing blouse you have on. <laughs> <laughs> a couple more snake bites and a pack of pork scratchings later and she was mine. Brenda suggested we go to a regular spot at the back of the pub, between the bottle bank and the waste food bin. 
Once there, she placed my John Thomas in her mouth. It sat comfortably where her front teeth once were, <laughs> preparing me for the deed ahead. She bent over, it was like looking at a dropped trifle. But I fought through the matted hair, and I... <laughs> <laughs> and remembering all the advice my Uncle Andrew had told me, I rode her round like a demented donkey. It felt great. I was finally a man. A few years later, I found out she had nicknamed me Half Cock Harry. <laughs> but my butler and nanny had always told me three inches was above average. And I can't see any reason why Jeeves or Mary Poppins would have lied to me. Ask <laughs> oh, <that's> Jeeves. <laughs> <laughs> the Brumbler,